In this tutorial, we are going to create an action to downsize our images to use to upload to the Dropbox. So we're going to go through the steps of creating and saving an action that we can use to do this. So our first thing before we start creating the action, in order to run the action or record the action, we need to have a file picture open that we can use. So let's go in here, open an image, so it's available for us to create the action. Okay, now before we create the action, we are going to take a quick look at what size this image is. So we're going to go to image, image size, and we'll see it's 3648 by 2736 is the pixel dimensions. Just click OK. Okay, so our image is open. We're ready to start creating our action. We go over here to the little flyout that says actions. Click it. The little action thing will fly out here in a second. And up here we're going to find in the upper right hand corner a little box. We're going to check that. Click on that. New action is what we want. And we're going to name this action EC, whoops, got a back up here, batch underscore EC. So we know that it's going to be used to batch our images for eCompanion. Now when we click on record, it's going to begin recording every step that we take as we create this action. So we're going to re tap, click record. Now we're going to begin the process. First step, file. We're going to go down to automate and we're going to go down to fit image and we're going to change the pixel dimensions on this image from what they are in the original image to 1200 tab to 1200. Now the reason we're using the same height and width is that Photoshop will recognize that the image is horizontal or vertical by the height and width number of pixels. So the width, the widest part of every image we do, whether it's horizontal or vertical now, will always be 1200 pixels. The smaller side will be a smaller number of pixels. We will click on OK. The image is now resized. The next step is to go and save this image. Now when we save the image, we're going to go Save As, and it's going to want to save it back in the folder it came from, which is fine, but we have one little step to finish in here so we can uh, download all of these images onto eCompanion. In that folder, we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it the Dropbox folder and we'll put the assignment name or number. So let's just say this one's Dropbox Assignment 1 Create. That's just to help us keep track of things. Where you've got it highlighted, we're going to hit Save. Now we want to save this image as a level 3 JPEG. So we're just going to change that. The reason we're going with such small sizes and low quality is so that we can get an upload through eCompanion uh, without waiting 20 minutes for the files to upload. So now we've got our, resolu our quality level set. We've told it where we want to save it. We click OK. Now the file is saved and we can stop recording at this point. So we go down to the bottom, the little blue box, click the blue box. Now our action is saved and ready for us to use. Now if we run the action on this photograph, it's not going to make any difference, so we're going to close it. And we're going to open another file. And it's back there, so I want to get out of there. I'm going to go to Pictures, and I'm just going to click on one. And open it. 
Now let's look at the initial image size, image, image size. And it's the 34, 36 by 27. We'll click OK. We've got the name of the action highlighted. And we're going to tap play. And boom, the image is smaller. Let's go and check the image size of the new image. Image, image size. And it's 1200 by 900. So remember that what that image did is it the longest side is 1200, the shortest side will be whatever Photoshop calculates based on the aspect ratio. We're going to click OK. We can do a little happy dance because our action now does work. OK. Now, the one thing we're going to do next is we're going to learn how to do a whole group of photographs at one time to run this action as a batch. So to do that we're going to go to Bridge. So we're going to launch Bridge and when Bridge comes up This is going to take a few moments here because I'm running the software to record this uh, demo. And we're going to go to the folder mode. And I'm going to find some of the pictures, a uh, group of pictures that I want to uh, run this action on. So I'm going to go here, here. And I'm going to pick a group of pictures from this folder. So what I'm going to do in Bridge is I'm not going to pick all of them for demonstration purposes. I'm going to pick about four different images. And I'll pick five. Now all of these images are some horizontals and some verticals. And I'm ready now to run this action to resize all of these images down to the smaller size and save them. So in Bridge, we go to Tools, and we go down to Photoshop Batch. Okay, when Photoshop comes up, it'll open an action set. We always have to double check this to make sure that the action we want to run is activated. The Batch EC one is activated. Okay, it's going to pick the images we've selected in Bridge. Uh, we're going to choose a folder to set, send these images to. And we're going to make sure that since we put a save as command in the action when we wrote it, we're going to override that so that the pictures go into the folder that we choose. If we don't over check the override box, all of the images will end up going into the folder we used uh, for cre when we created the action. So choose, okay. Okay, so we're back to the same folder and we're going to create a, we're going to use this EC folder for the Dropbox. I'm going to choose that folder. We're just going to leave all of this name and document stuff alone. Okay, we're just going to double check everything, default actions, batch EC, source bridge, override, we've chosen the folder, we click OK, and Photoshop goes to work. Now we can see the little activity wheel is telling us that Photoshop is doing its thing here and working on these folders. Now in this case, for some reason, it opens this folder and I'm just going to click Done, and Photoshop is going to continue working. Okay, you can see it's working away here. It's op reading the f It's reading the file, resizing it. Watch as it opens. Boom, saving it. Going to the next one. Boom. Now the reason it opened the first file is. I probably had the uh, open first file to adjust settings or something set. If it does it, you just click done.
Okay, Photoshop is done. Let's check and see if everything is in that folder. Okay, so let's see if that folder is here somewhere. Sometimes it takes Bridge a few moments to register these folders when we create a new folder. So we just have to wait a few seconds for Photoshop Bridge to register the folder. So we'll double check. So let's go back, it still hasn't registered, it's being a little slow. Let's go back to Photoshop and let's open a file and see if we did everything uh, correctly. So we're going to open, there's the EC Dropbox, there's all of our images. We'll click on one and open it just to double check that everything fell together. Image, image size. Uh, 800 by 1200, boom, 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 everything's okay. That file is there and correct. Now, we have completed the process of downsizing the files and placing them in a folder for use in the uh, eCompanion Dropbox when we use that to turn in the assignment. So we're going to stop this tutorial here with uh, how to create the images, and in the next tutorial we'll go through the steps of how to complete the process of putting the files into the Dropbox of eCompanion. So we're going to stop.